it's a whole damn process changing these bezels, having to disconnect a bunch of stuff and also, you know, transfer all the seals and everything to the new piece. There it is, that's the old guy. There's two clips on the bottom, two on top. New one going on. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today is gonna be another video series of me fixing and restoring this amazing W124 Mercedes-Benz. Uh, today uh, I'm gonna be replacing the grill assembly as you can see it's a little broken uh, That's how I got the car, but we're gonna replace that I have a brand new grill and It's gonna change the looks of this car You can see it's all broken. I bought the car like this. So mainly it's just the grill insert, but I already got a brand new Grill assembly for it. So I'm gonna install a new one on First you're gonna take this off 10 millimeter nut and then I have to loosen the hood star or the grill start after that. There's a bunch of eight millimeter bolts that I already took off and we're just gonna take this guy out as an assembly, like so, okay? Other way, because on this car, it's kind of a pain to remove the grill star while it's still installed here. So I'm just gonna make it easier on us. And now, you know, there's also this gasket, grill gasket, this is all intact. We're just gonna clean a bunch of this stuff and transfer this hardware back onto the grill, new grill. Now to remove this grill star, grab these pliers and you're gonna pull on it and basically turn it counterclockwise. So yeah, it's gonna be really careful so I couldn't really show you but I already did it as you can see I turned it kind of clockwise now this guy I have to turn it just a little bit more actually and then I will be able to take it out there you have it your amazing hood star your grill star so these are, this is the one I'm gonna be installing. I restored this one. And these are all the parts that are gonna go onto the new grill. So that's our new grill right here. Okay. Um, and the only thing is I have to cut out this opening right there for the secondary hood release tongue, so I'll have to do that. But other than that, it's there. There you go. So I trimmed that piece, installed the, the logo, and got installed the hood star, transfer these clips, and we can install it back on the car. All right, there you guys have it. I'm about to install this thing onto the car. It's gonna change the looks of it like crazy. Installing in your grill. So exciting. So, so exciting. I already sanded this, also gonna paint it to kinda match the grill. Okay, now I'm taking this out, the whole assembly, because you can see this headlight assembly is kind of all broken up, unfortunately. So I'll have to see what I can do. I'll just have to salvage this one for right now, unfortunately. But I do have a brand new bezel for it. So I just want to take it out and just kind of see how it is and clean some things up here and there as well. The grill is all nice, beautiful. I just have to wipe it off a little bit. From all the grease marks. Okay. 
There's also a connector for this motor that I have to disconnect before I pull the whole thing out. It's right there. There she is. Whole headlight assembly. Look at that. Now I can clean all the stuff here everywhere. Make it nice. it's gonna be see how easy it is to take out the headlight on an old school car good luck doing it on a new car you'll have to remove the whole front assembly of the car just to remove the headlight sad story bro so while I'm here I'm gonna service this ground point just want to sand it down Reinstall this assembly and put grease on top. That way it's not gonna rust anymore. So, but good idea while I'm here, and there's some corrosion on that ground. All right, so now, as you can see, this is all cleaned up. I'm just gonna add this grease on top like that. And that's not gonna cause any issues with the ground or anything. I just mainly wanna protect it from rust. Like that. Man, it's like a totally different car with this grill. Oh my god. Looks so damn good. Can't wait to install that headlight right there. Wow. Alright, I just came back from other test drive. Everything is amazing. Still waiting on parts for that headlight. I'm mainly waiting the clear film. Like I did on this side. Because uh, the film is not here yet. So I don't want to just install it as is. But another thing I did is I fixed the opening and closing of this door. Actually, the seat belts were just soaking uh, recently, so that's why they're just kind of drying right now. Uh, but I also fixed this door because it was closing kind of bad, so it was easy. I just had to loosen this striker and just adjust it a little bit. It took a couple tries, but now it closes nicely. That's it. So, we've got this brand new bezel for this side. This one, as you can see, was replaced already by me a couple months ago. Now I'm replacing this one. And I've got this 3M clear tape that I'm gonna wrap these, uh, these uh, no, this bezel in. Uh, that way, you know, it's never gonna, you know, have any rock chips and all that stuff. It's gonna get preserved and protected. Look at how pretty she is. Oh. Amazing. 